All right, Rough City Athletics, this week on the Powerlifting for a Stack series, we're coming back to the deadlift. We're, today, specifically, we were looking at breaking the floor and a few variables that come with that. So when we see that uh, as people become more accustomed to deadlifting, there can be a number of variables that break down. And most of the time, there are things that happen at the floor. So most notably are, is lack of patience in breaking the floor and not keeping that bar nice and close. So today, that's what we're going to go over. So we see when people start deadlifting, they'll set up, they get into a great position, and then they get so aggressive and they yank the bar off. So I'll try to give a demo here. So I set up, I get into a good position, and I'm just so anticipating driving up that I don't get that tension, and I, I yank that bar. And when I drive into the ground, I get pulled out of that beautiful position, get pulled forward, usually the bar will sway away from me, and now I'm forced onto my toes, and I have to use my back a whole lot more. So when we're deadlifting and trying to leave the ground, that first initial thing, we want to focus on pushing the ground away and using those legs as much as we can. We have a previous video that I'll attach in the description where we talk about utilizing the legs, but a quick demo that's very important. As I set up in that position, and when I'm down here, one of the first things I want to do is get those lats set, which I'm going to show you a drill for in a minute. So I get those lats set, so I'm squeezing back, trying to think of like squeezing an orange in my armpit, feeling those lats tense up, and then from here, I'm pushing with my legs to break the floor. By doing that, I don't get tipped over. And I'm able to save my back for the lockout. If I yank that bar up, what's gonna most, no most normally happen is my back's gonna round, and when I get to the top, I'm gonna be fighting to get my hips through. But if I can start that floor position, get tight, get rigid, and work on pushing and breaking the floor while keeping my back flat, I'm going to be able to keep my back in a good position to lock out faster. So once you have that position down, appreciating the patience that comes with a heavy deadlift and starting position, then we can start looking at how, where is your bar position in relation to your shins. When people set up, we want to have that bar relatively touching the shins. Depending upon your size and the angle of your positions and things like that, it might not be making contact, but it's going to be close. Whereas a lot of times people will keep this bar out here over their toes. And then when they go, it's way out there and then they're fighting to bring it back. The easiest thing to do is again, setting those lats, keeping that bar nice and close and underneath you as much as possible. The closer that bar is to my hips, the less stress will be on my low back. So when I'm setting up, I'm getting my position, squeezing those lats and I'm bringing that bar in nice and tight. I'm gonna push. I'm keeping it close to me. On the way up, it doesn't need to grind along my shins. You see, I do have a few shin marks, but it doesn't have to grind along your legs. It just needs to be close to your legs. So let's say that you have been working on that position. You've been trying to practice the patience that comes with it, but you're still not quite getting that lat cue. For a lot of people, the idea of contracting those lats, staying nice and tight along the back, they don't quite get the, the lat portion. They just usually use their erectors. And so for some people, you're losing a drill, but the one I'm about to show you can do fantastic things for them. So a very simple drill. What I want to do is I want to set up a band. I want to set it up around knee height. So I've got it around right here. And now I'm going to utilize this to practice keeping tension. So what you do is you're going to set up, getting some band tension. And then I'm going to walk back, and I'm going to work on pulling that back. And now I can feel my lats coming on. And then I'm going to work on hinging and practicing keeping that band pulled back, maintaining that tension as I go. And this is the feeling that you want to have. You should be able to feel pulling back, squeezing those lats, and then driving up nice and tall. All right, so we're looking at that devil position. So now that we've got the idea of using those lats better, next thing we're going to do is practice breaking the floor. And so one of the things that I like to have people do is start off with a tempo deadlift, primarily the lowering portion. Using that eccentric portion can be fantastic for teaching people how to use their legs. So when I set up, I get my position, and then I want to get nice and tight, get my lats set, push, get my hips through. And then as I go down, I can feel my legs resisting the floor. I keep this position, and I drive again. And I'm focusing on pushing through my legs. So those are the major details that we're going to be talking about today in breaking the floor with the deadlifts, keeping that bar nice and close, using those lats, and then having patience to push and use the legs. 
So we'll catch you guys next week. That was this week for powerlifting for aesthetics.